Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable snow globe ornament. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and join my free Diamonds and Dust Facebook group with the link in the description to be entered in the giveaways. Today we will be working on a cute shaker ornament from Cami Page Boutique. I will have a discount code linked for you down in the description. I am first going to start by taking off the back and front of this cover sheet on this large C shape. This will be the part that leaves it elevated to create the shaker. Now I'm going to take the back piece of the ornament and remove the front piece of that cover sheet. Now take some UV resin and apply that to one side of that clear acrylic C shape. It should look clear because both of the brown pieces of paper should be removed on this section. And we're going to apply it to the back of the ornament to the side that we just removed that paper. And then we are going to place that underneath our UV light and give it a full cure. Make sure you read your UV resin instructions for the full cure time and the wattage of your lamp. Now that the back of your ornament is curing under your UV lamp, take the front section of your ornament. This will be the section with the design on it and you are going to leave on that brown paper. Then you are going to take some paint markers and just get them flowing on a piece of scrap paper. And then you are just going to color in the sections and you don't have to be perf super perfect here because the brown coating will kind of keep all of the paint in those lines. But you're going to color each section with your paint pens. One thing I like about the Cami Page Boutique ornaments is they are etched a little deeper than most people's, so it holds a lot of that paint, keeping those images really crisp and clear when you pull off that brown cover sheet. Now for the bigger sections on the ornament, like the reindeer, the holly leaves, and then those little floating balls around him, I am going to add some glitter for some just extra sparkle. I am starting off by just adding some UV resin to a medicine cup and mixing in some chrysalis glitter. I am going to stir it with a, a toothpick and then I am just going to slowly add a little bit to that etched section of the reindeer. You wanna go pretty slow here. It will self level and kind of get into all those creases, but um, I'm just kind of dropping and then like pushing it around with the toothpick, but just make sure you don't overfill that section. Now I'm going to take some cherry bomb glitter and mix that in some UV resin as well and place it into all of those little circles surrounding the reindeer. You will not need much UV resin in each section. So once again, just make sure you don't overfill. If you do overfill it, just hurry and take a Q-tip and clean up around the edges. Thank you. 
And for the little holly leaves, I am taking the same UV resin I've been using, mixed in a little bit of your Kiwi Me, and filled in those little leaves. Now that you have all your UV resin and glitter sections applied, before you slide it into your light, you're going to take that brown paper coating that surrounds those sections off very carefully. Make sure you don't smear what you have just done. Leaving the brown paper coating on at this part just keeps those sections as clean as possible. And then once that is all the way off, slide it under your UV light and cure for the full time. Now we are going to fill that little cavity we created with a bunch of little elements. I have collected this stuff over the years. You can add seed beads, you can add clay, little clay pieces, and chunky glitters work the best. They're still heavy enough to float around, but the finer glitters can make them look a little muddy. So stick to a chunky glitter. This is juicy, which is like the chunkiest chunk of glitter. It is absolutely a fun and pretty opal. And then I am going to take some UV resin all the way around. Still, there's a little gap in the, this section here and we wanna leave that open to fill it. So just, it's kind of like a large C shape. We're just going to coat that with UV resin and then we are going to apply the top section. Try not to move your ornament around too much at this time because you don't want the UV resin and those little elements to stick together. So just slide that on as carefully as you can. Push, push it down fairly firmly so you can see it looks completely clear around your ornament. And then you are going to cure that for the full time. I then am taking my solution, which is glycerin and distilled water. That is up to your discretion on how much of each you would like to use. And then I'm going to just put it in this needle nose bottle and fill up that cavity with liquid as much as I possibly can without overfilling. Now that your liquid is as full as you can get it without it spilling out, just take a dry paper towel and make sure that opening is completely dry. I then am going to take a clear piece of tape and just place that right over the hole, making sure it's completely covered and then trimming off the excess with an X-Acto knife. Now take your UV resin completely covering that tape, smooth it out with a gloved finger, and then cure it under your UV light. Once that UV resin is all cured, I like to tip it upside down and make sure there are no leaks. If there is, you're just going to add more UV resin. And then you can keep this as is. It looks pretty cool, just clear, but I really wanted the top to pop. So I am adding some UV resin into a medicine cup and then adding some white glitter that is only pearl shifting and it is called Abominable. I am just going to stir that in and then spread it on the back, pushing the UV resin to the edges of the back of the ornament and then sliding it under my UV light and curing that.
Now I'm going to cut a piece of this twine kind of cording and slip it through the hole of the ornament. And then I'm just going to tie a knot on the top. Now take some cute Christmas ribbon. This is wired ribbon, but it does not have to be. But I do like that you can kind of move it and sculpt it the way you would like the shape of your bow. Tie it in a bow and make it really cute and fluffy looking. And then when you cut the angles on the bow, take a lighter and just lightly go over the edges of your ribbon. It will slightly melt it and make sure that it does not fray. Once you have that done, just hot glue that cute bow right on top of your ornament. And now your super festive ornament is all finished. The amount of glycerin to water will determine if it is a fast flow or slow flow. I really like actually the flow on this one so everything doesn't just race to the bottom. It's really relaxing and satisfying. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and look for me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust.